and please like my dad channel and subscribe and hit that subscribe button and and hit that bell Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. This is Phoenix 1987-20 here to bring you another episode of my Let's Talk About series. And guys, I'm going to do the somewhat of the great debate of video games. Are they educational or are they not? Back in, in my time, young days, everybody said video games are mindless wastes of time. There's no potential. You're throwing your life away when playing video games. They have no education purposes but that's incorrect video games actually have a lot of purposes to it and are very very educational now granted we're going to talk about gory games like call of duty and first person shooters they're not as educational but they do help with certain things now all video games have a certain common puzzle solving reading understanding and seeing where it goes now depending on what game you get play you can have a lot more advantages but for people to say video games are a waste of time you're wasting your life you'll never make money off of video games well i've been proven wrong because there's esports teams which are sponsored by video game company and you making the dough look at that uh, tweeter guy or twitch guy ninja whatever his name is don't quote me I don't really care for the guy but he's making like a million or two or three million dollars a year playing video games. Look at YouTubers playing video games. They're playing video games and getting paid because they're posting their video games on YouTube, Twitch, and they're making money off that. Now we're gonna throw the money part aside. You play a Legend of Zelda game. The game is solving puzzles. You have to solve puzzles in each temple that you go into, dungeon, whatever you wanna call it. And you have to solve the puzzle to get to the end. You play in hockey or sports game, it's hand-eye coordination. I mean, yes, you're using a joystick or a mouse controller, whatever that you prefer to play with. And you got to make sure you're not going to just pull the trigger and it's going to shoot the person. You got to aim. You got to make sure that joystick is swung over to the right, right area and just shoot. You want that kill shot? You got to be quick, fast. You can't over over your sight. You have to be able to hit that sight, that target, in a matter of seconds. If not, they're gonna kill you. And that's a whole different ball game. But to sit there and trash that video games are garbage or stupid are people that cannot play video games at all, that do not understand video games, that simply just really just don't understand what video games are about. Yes, they are entertaining, but there's a lot more behind it. They include subtitles to help people read. They include educational games in there like Brain Age. They have games like Mario where you're solving, you're getting from one to the other like Zelda. And there's other games that do the same thing. Because if video games were mindless, we probably wouldn't have it a video game around people say well you're wasting your time playing video games that may be true we're wasting our time but believe it or not while playing your video games blood flows through your brains the different part of your brains you do not use as much and it helps you understand memorize and stuff like that because you're gonna have to memorize I'm gonna go back to a call of duty Memorize a Call of Duty map because if you're just playing one map at a time and you don't memorize that stuff, you're going to get lost, you're going to have a horrible game, and you're going to rage quit. Rage quit. And the same as Zelda, you're not going to play Zelda once and then walk away from it. You're going to play it a couple times. You're not going to go into the dungeon once, die, and be like, no, I'm done with it. You're going to continue. You're going to get better, and you're going to enjoy a lot more. Yes, competition-wise, people are being the best of best. Look at Super Smash Bros. Melee. Still probably one of the best fighting games there is. Argue that with me. If you don't believe Super Smash Brothers Melee. Just the Super Smash Brothers Melee. We're not talking about any other Super Smash Brothers. We're talking about Super Smash Brothers Melee. But that's getting off the point. Video games have so much potential. Especially with even autistic kids. Disability kids. They're able to do such more with understanding video games. How to play. And 
your big major company will easily, easily create not only like left-handed controllers, but autistic controllers, speak only controllers for people that have autistic or disabilities of all ranges. Video games help bring the bridges of other people, especially when you're playing online and you're having that chat. You may not be able to chat to chat with people face to face because it scares the bloody shit out of you. But you don't see them. You have a microphone on, headset on, and you're speaking to them. And you're having that conversation. That's building confidence. You have your subtitles turned on. I'm 34 years old, gonna be 35. I still have the subtitles on all my games turned on so I can read along with it. Because I'm not that great with reading. But reading along so I can understand what's going on. Even though they're saying it, I am i don't process. I have a learning disability. I don't process what they say. Or when I do process stuff, it's not what they say. So it's easier for me to listen to what they say and read what's on the screen. It helps me. It has helped me a lot. Playing first for the shooter. My hand-eye coordination, way better. Playing Brain Age helped me exercise my brain. Playing um, those fitness games, those dancing games that they have, helps you stay fit. Cardio, just fit in general. There's a lot of great benefits to video games. But non-gamers are people that dislike games. Also, don't have a TV in their house either because they dislike anything electronical because they don't have an imagination. People play video games for different ways. People play different games, video games to learn, educate. If we didn't have video games or that, would we have LeapFrog or VTech? Those are technically video games that help your young children learn, help them to read, help them to write. But people don't see that. They, they think video games, they're thinking, Mario, Zelda, Call of Duty, Battlefield, uh, Resident Evil, which are scary. But guess what? In each of those video games, there are elements you have to do. If they're puzzles, if they're strategy, if they're hand-eye coordination, if they're reading, if they're... You know what I'm saying? The list goes on. Video games are very important to everyday life, to people. They help build confidence in people. They help build people up they help build everything they can to, so people can have a better chance with everything that's going on now granted a lot of people don't see it that way they think oh video games are stupid why are people playing them video games are also used for therapy some people can't open up so it's easier for them to open up into a video game, to get lost in a video game, so they can sit there and situate their own whatever is going on in their life through a video game so it makes better sense with them. So they're not angry or upset or sad or lonely. They can have things that they would love to have and able to do to better them. So I'm for one always been a gamer. And I've got my kids into gaming. And to believe it or not, they love, and it's funny because they love the educational games, like purely educational games, like Paw Patrol video games. You're, you're puzzle solving, you're collecting, you're counting. The, my, my oldest loves Zelda because she loves the puzzles, the strategy. To try to figure out how each shrine, each dungeon works. What is the big trick on how to get through them? And what not like that. Like video games have so much to offer people. And people just got to relax. Because if video games are bad for everybody. So are books. So are movies. So are TV shows. And people say, well, staring at a screen is going to hurt your eyes. No different than staring at a book for six hours of reading. No different than study for an exam in college or university or even in high school. There's no difference. It has the same effect on your eyes than anything. 
is no different than on a bright sunny day and you're looking at the stone and it, bur it hurts your eyes it's gonna hurt so unless you have poor ass lighting that's a whole different thing video games do not harm the only thing that harms people is improper parenting that can't tell their kids or whoever's playing it this is not real people do not do this in real life this is a video game so yes you must educate your kids the shit in grand theft auto well yes it happens in the real world but if you educate your kids then they're gonna know oh this is what happens in the real game because if i do this in real life like they do shoot somebody rob a bank whatever i'm going to jail if somebody kills me i'm not gonna pop out at a hospital and continue my day i'm gonna be in a pine box six feet under or in a stove burning away so it comes down to parenting and making sure you parent properly because if you don't parent properly and you put them in front of the TV and in front of a video game and they get lost in it with not able to separate what's real, what's fake, is no different in putting them in front of a TV show like Caillou. All he does is whine and cry and get his own way. How is that any different? Or shows like where they don't even speak any words and they do mumble jumble. That doesn't teach kids how to speak or learn that teaches them that go baba be ba boo ba boo be you might as well just watch a Jim Carrey movie no difference video games have its pros video games also have its cons but the pros outweigh the cons so if anybody wants to come at me bring it on tell me why video games are not educational I'm here. I'll listen. My ears open. Until further ado, I want to know what your guys' damn opinion. Are, vid are video games educational? Can you show me a video game that doesn't have any educational purposes behind it? Because guaranteed, I will tell you that it has an educational purpose behind it. And that includes Pac-Man and Pong. So, do me a favor. Write down your thoughts in the comment below. Good, the bad, the ugly. It's all good to me. And hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, followed by that notification bell. And have yourself a wonderful, wonderful day. Until further ado, this is Phoenix1987 saying I hope you have a good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Peace.